Hello and welcome to my YouTube channel. If you're regular here, you know I review many photographic, audio and video related products. And if you're new here, well that's exactly what I do do. Now today we're taking a look at a lighting product and it's come from WeLight and it's the WeLight WP35 and here it is. And I think it's a brilliant piece of kit and I don't know how they're making it for the price that they're retailing it at. Now, there will be links in the description below to where you can purchase this from. I highly recommend that you do. Um, it's a fantastic product. And as I say, fantastic value for money. Now this light is an RGB LED light with 648 LED bulbs in it. And you can change the color of these bulbs by using the controls on the back of the light, which I'll show you in just a moment, or the app. And I'm going to go through that with you in just a moment. Now it's fantastically well made. Is there such a phrase as that? Fantastically well made? It's extremely well made. Um, it's got metal barn doors, as you can see here. So you can actually control the output of a light uh, where the light falls off. So if you wanted to flood a room or flood the area, just leave the barn doors wide open. If you want to direct the light as a more, you know, more directly, then you can bring the barn doors in, you know, to give far more control over where the light goes. Um, you know, metal construction as well. So the actual side, all the case is metal, um, which is great. It's got air vents um, all around the back of the light to be able to, you know, uh, disperse the heat. But as it's LED, the heat generation is extremely low. So, you know, you don't really have an issue with that. It has got a fan inside. To be fair, the noise of a fan isn't going to affect any productions because you wouldn't normally have lights very close to microphones anyway. Um, but uh, yeah, great construction, metal construction. And what's also really nifty, it comes with this cage, um, uh, sort of U-bracket basically. So once you've got it locked off, you can then adjust using this here, the angle that you want the light to be at. And once you've locked it off, it will stay there. It really is solid. It's really, really nicely made. And I like that a lot. Um, so many lights I've used in the past have got really flimsy construction, be it plastic or whatever. And, you know, they don't hold the position. But this one does, even with heavy batteries on them. I mean, I've got two uh, NP batteries on the back here, two Sony ones. Well, they're not made by Sony, but they're Sony Fit batteries. And um, they're quite bulky. I've got the, you know, the long lasting ones. They're quite bulky. Uh, and quite heavy um, and that brings up another point as well as mains operated it does come with a mains power brick so you can run it off mains or as I'm doing here you can run it off these W uh, batteries these NW was it WP50s whatever they are um, we all know what ones they are but um, they just click into place and you've got a very good click here for taking the batteries uh, in and out. Um, you've got all the controls on the back that you're going to need. So let's just power it up a second. So you can, as I say, you can either control it from the panel on the back of a light, although I would suggest, just take that up a bit, I would suggest you control it from the app, but um, you, can, can, you can control it from the panel on the back, uh, on off switch there. That will turn it on and off. You can see it comes on there, uh, which is great. And the light will come on. And you've got these controls on the back here for adjusting the brightness um, and the color temperature. Um, you know, I mean, you can see that. So that's adjusting the color temperature. Can you see the guide, the guide going up and down as to what color temperature is being set? Um, <laughs> difficult to do it without my hands getting in the way of a display. So that should say so it's going down 4,600 Kelvin um, and that will go right away up um, to 6,800, I believe it goes up to. Uh, yeah, so it goes up to 6,800 Kelvin and I think it goes right down to 2,800. So um, you've got a really wide range there. Yeah, see, 2,800 Kelvin. So you've got a very, very wide range um, of a color spectrum that this light will cover. Um, and then you've got your intensity, uh, that's your RGB value. Uh, you've got your dimmer, so you can control the brightness of a light, um, how bright it is, that's gone off now, because that's gone right down, and you can turn it right up. So it's easy enough to control it. You can see the dial air going up uh, in percentage-wise, 22%, 25 28 and then that will go right up to 100%. Now, it's a 30-watt light. Now that don't sound very bright, but trust me, 
30 watts of LED output is pretty damn bright. And, you know, um, I think it'd be bright enough for vast majority of people. Um, and I will be using it in the studio here on a regular basis because I like the flexibility how these wee lights work. Um, they'll mount onto a conventional stand so you can mount them onto any lighting stand um, no special fixtures are needed uh, and you've got various other controls on the bottom here for controlling what the light does um, i'm not going to go through all of these because it, it controls so much but the best thing about the wee light but well the best thing i think is the fantastic app that you can download for free for either android or uh, iPhone, Android or iOS, um, I, you know, iPhone. And if we just turn this around, let me just turn that back around. So we're facing that way. I'll try and keep that quite dimmed so we can see. Now, um, we're down, we've got the app already downloaded um, and you can see there that's now off. But if I turn that on, push this, well, it's not a button, is it? But just do that oops then the light will come back on so uh that is let's move this light back a bit actually so you can see easier i can i can work with that easier then so that will now control the light so you basically turn it on and off by this also you can set up a whole number of lights now you can see the problem i'm having i've got my main light which is a wee light set up on the same channel as this light so as i turn that off my main light goes, oh dear, that's spooky. That goes off, and then I can bring that back on. So they're both running off the same uh, app, which is um, which is great. Now, I could have set up the main light on a different channel, so that won't affect what this light does. Um, but now, as I adjust the color temperature using the app, that's going to adjust the main light, which is quite good, really, because you'll be able to clearly see what how this works you know now that's uh here so what we can do now we can adjust the power output of the light you can see the light there getting dimmer and getting brighter certainly just by doing that then you can adjust the color temperature by sliding this dial here that'll adjust the color temperature going right the way down to 2800 right the way up to 6800 um which is great and you can see just by doing that, how easy it is to control your lighting using the app, as opposed to going to the back of a light to control it via the controls on the back of a light. But you can go one, you can go much further than that. You can go into this HSI mode, mode, HSI mode, where you can adjust the colour output of a light. And of course, that's adjusting the main light up there as well. Actually, it isn't. No, it isn't. Thank goodness for that. Um, it's only adjusting the this light here so you can see here that's giving me a bright red output let's turn the intensity of that down so we can see that clearer so that's now actually is adjusting the main light because it's i've gone bright red really red down that side uh, which is what the main light is doing um, and that's great so you can adjust you can create all different colored effects. Now, where that is really handy, uh, let's go back to that. Where that is really, really useful, if you want to light a background, you may want to light have a blue background, a red background. You might want a bit of a mix. So you have one light set up with blue, another light set up with green. So you've got a lovely mix. At the moment, I'm throwing red onto the background here with my other light. Um, and that's throwing a, a, just a nice red across the background to light the background up. So um, it's really, really clever what you can do with this app and with these We Light products. Uh, you've got scene mode, so you can create flash, um, burst mode, uh, TV to make it look like it's flashing a flame. So you've got a, a red glow there. So that looks like it's a, um, a fire, you know um uh welding that'd be blue light that'll probably that's meant to look like welding um you can make that slower faster um have oh, the effects i mean it's got 26 effects so you know um no end of effects i mean 
what I would use it for though is basically uh, under you know uh, what we call CCT, which is your Kelvin level. I would set it to 5600 um, because that's what I uh, got my camera set to. I do manual white balance, balance. I don't even white balance. I've got it set to a Kelvin level of 5600, and I've matched the lights to 5600, and I've white balanced with those settings. So uh, both my Canons are going to come out with a correct color balance as long as I've got it set up right on the app. Now both these lights will give me the same uh, color temperature, which is great. So, you know, I don't need to go into great detail what this app can do. It's very, very flexible what you can do with the app to change the lights to how you want the lights to be. And um, that's a lot easier than controlling it and faster than controlling it on the back of a light. But as I say, if you do want to, um, all the controls are there on the back of a light here. If you do prefer to, you know, um, prefer to use uh, actual knobs on the light. But um, yeah, I, I think it's, it's really compact. It doesn't come in its own case, which is fine. I've actually just used an old laptop case, um, which is great. I've got a little laptop case down here. I've just used this, uh, this old laptop case. Uh, I've got the you know main uh, charger in there. Um, well, I haven't got it in there, but that fits in there uh, with the light. Um, great. So yeah, here we go. That's the We Light WP35. Now, as I say, they did send it to me for review. I haven't actually purchased it, but they don't get to see this video any sooner than what you guys and girls do. So uh, there's no conflict there. And also, obviously, I say what I feel about them, but I've been using We Light products for a long time. Um, I've got this brilliant little We Light product. What's this one? The K21, the We Light K21, all battery operated. Um, and these like the SO3, uh, these little lights are brilliant. Let me just turn that off just a second. Uh, so you can see it better. I mean, these uh, little lights are fantastic. You shove them in your pocket, shove them in your kit bag. So if you do need uh, fill-in light, particularly if you're doing interviews or you're doing anything like that, um, these, uh, I've got the SO5, which is just its bigger brother. Um, and this is controllable via the app as well. So um, all of these little lights are just so compact, so well made. They're so rugged. And the amount of times I've dropped these lights around the studio is, you know, well, I've lost count how many times I've dropped them. And they work fantastically. Uh, so, yeah, I'm a massive fan of Viltrox and We Light products because We Light is a division of Viltrox. Viltrox manufacture great value for money lenses. Um, I've used them. I use them on my uh, GH5. I've got a, a Viltrox uh, cinema lens and it's fantastic. Um, and, yeah, I will leave a link also to the Viltrox store where you can take a look at their products there. So that will be in the description of this video as well. So, yeah, the We Light WP35. If you're looking for really cost effective uh, value for money products, which, I, as I said earlier, I don't know how they are making them at this fantastic value. I have no idea. But there you go. So, yeah, that's the We Light uh, WP35. Um, 648 bulbs in it uh, and fully adjustable across the color spectrum. I think that's the main thing that you need to know. So um, you can create your reds, your greens, your blues, or like me, you just want to use it as a main light and you want to set a specific Kelvin temperature. Do it via the app, um, do it via the app because uh, you'll have a lot more success doing it with the app. Um, and you see, when you to turn it on and off, main light goes off. Really, really useful. Um, and I said I could muck around by creating all sorts of effects with a main light. I can take that right the way down, take it right the way up, you know. Um, and it's quite a distance. That light is quite a distance from me in the studio here. And it's uh, working great. The latency, there's virtually no latency. As I move that, that light is dimming as I adjust it. So um, you've got no worries about, you know, latency. It's pretty accurate and it's pretty quick. Um, so again, I'll leave a link to that particular light in the description below. Very uh, completely different design to this light, 
but works the same way. So here we go. That's the Wheelight WP35, a great RGB LED light, uh, battery and mains operated, uh, metal construction, fantastic piece of kit. Uh, will you know, last you forever, I would think. Uh, so there we go. Thanks very much for watching. Stay tuned for more videos relating to video photography, podcasting, so on and so forth. And if you like this video, please hit the like button. Cheers for now. Bye.